Now, as part of a series of 12-month wine tastings that I've been doing over the past uh, several videos, we're down to our last two. Both of these are meads. One is a lemon mead and the other is a dark cherry mead. In this video, we're going to do the lemon mead taste testing. Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Now, before cracking open this bottle, there are a couple of things I want to I want to point out that's noticeable to me. Uh, one, the wine is clear, very clear, from about here to here. <laughs> At the bottom, there is a quarter of an inch or more layer of sediment. Now, this is not your normal lease or or dead geese or anything floating around the bottom of, of, your, of your wine bottle. No, this is actually the solids from the honey uh, that was used. It was a process that also occurred in another bottle, this one being the orange mead, which also has a similar layer of, of solids down at the bottom. And I know what caused it. Um, and I think I know how to, how to correct that in future videos. Uh, all of my wines and meads are now pasteurized. Uh, the problem wasn't noticeable with the wines because I was back sweetening with sugar uh, prior to the pasteurization, so no big deal. But when I pasteurized with the honey, uh, sorry, when I back sweetened with the honey and then pasteurized it, what happened was that because of the heat, the solids in the honey settled down to the bottom. Now, I mean, it's all still just honey. If I really wanted to, I could just swirl it around and, and, and drink it as such. But if I want a clear bottle of mead, and I'm going to be using pasteurization as my means of, of stabilizing the wine. I've got a solution to that, and I'll probably have that in, a, in an upcoming video. Definitely, I want to give that one a try for other reasons as well. But just letting you know, yeah, layer of sediment, honey, basically, floating around the bottom. Uh, let's see, other things. Take my glasses here. Uh, it came in at, after 12 months. It came in at a relatively high 15.75% ABV. Um, that's something else that I'm also going to correct in my use of meads uh, going forward. And that is the choice of yeast that I've been using. Uh, normally, when I'm not too sure about a particular mead and I don't want to take a chance, I'll break out a packet of Red Star Premier Blanc and knowing, knowing full well that that's going to just power through virtually anything, and I'm going to end up with a product, a bottle of wine, a bottle of mead, that I can actually drink later on. It's going to <laughs> ferment through fruition. Um, because this channel doesn't use uh, yeast energizers or yeast nutrients or anything like that, uh, yeah, the choice of the uh, uh, Premier Blanc was, was basically a safe choice, but I'm now going to start using uh, yeast that have a lower alcoholic tolerance, uh, so I can bring down the ABV levels uh, quite a bit. Uh, back when I was first starting to make wines and meads, 15.75%, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These days, uh, I prefer something with uh, somewhat less alcoholic content. Uh, not because I'm trying to get away from alcohol. <laughs> it's by virtue of the fact that uh, uh, you're, you're losing a lot of the flavor of the actual wine and meads because of the high alcohol. Um, al high, high ABBs is not really the way to go, usually. <laughs> but uh, let's get right down to this particular video. All right, let's see. Go ahead and try and get this cork open in one piece this time. And if you've seen some of my recent wine tasting videos, you've seen that I've had issues with these corks. So much so that I'm probably, again, and I've said it before, I'll probably switch over to uh, uh, artificial corks just to avoid any potential problems that might come up, that might arise. Usually this part works okay. It's that final little part. Success. <laughs> it's all in one piece this time. Okay. 
Wow, even from back here, that lemon aroma kind of kicked in. Kind of curious to see how this one's going to taste. Lemon, then honey, then alcohol are the first three things that I smell, pretty much in that order. Subsequent sniffs, it's more along the lines of alcohol, then honey, then lemon. Mmm, <laughs> okay. It's sweet, not dessert wine type sweet, but it's sweet. I back sweetened it well. No great loss in terms of sweetness with that layer of uh, honey solids on the bottom. So that turned out okay. trying to think of what needs to be changed in this and the amount of lemons that were used in the original recipe that was fine the amount of honey that turned out okay the back sweetening with the amount of honey that I used that turned out okay well almost okay <laughs> so I'll resolve that that sediment issue at, at, uh, later on but Tone down the alcohol content by a bit. <laughs> and uh, I think everything else about this wine, mead rather, turned out okay. Even though it is a sweet wine, mead. Um, it does retain that, that that level of tartness that you would get from a lemon. That's still in there. Um, even though it's been aged 12 months now since uh, its inception, uh, I would probably give this another few months because yeah, I would give this another few months. Uh, for my own personal taste, I would probably say this is more of a uh, of a 16 month endeavor, if not more. I mean, this is per this is perfectly drinkable. I mean, I actually like this one. It is fairly smooth going down. It's smooth going down, then at the back end, it has a, I guess the, the word I want to use, it has a, a level of astringency at the back end. I'd like to take a look at the original recipe to see if I uh, uh, used the uh, tannin substitute, <laughs> aka black tea. Um, in this wine, if I did, I would probably adjust that down a bit. Yeah, I would probably adjust the tannin level a bit, uh, but I'm not seeing anything wrong with this at all. Uh, I've seen, I've seen some videos where people just don't play like it, but I don't know. Maybe I just don't have a sophisticated palate, but I'm not having any problems with this one at all. Yeah, I like it. I'd probably like it better if it were chilled. 
which is probably what I'm going to have when I have this for dinner. I'll just put it in the refrigerator. But no, I'm not really seeing anything wrong with this. Um, yeah, uh, slight adjustments to the recipe. Uh, uh, reduce the le uh, level of tannin. Uh, change the uh, wine yeast out to something with a lower ABB uh, tolerance or lower alcohol tolerance. Um, make the correction in terms of how I back sweeten it. Uh, no, re rephrase that. Back sweetening it was fine. Changing the method of pasteurization uh, would probably be the way I'd go uh, for this particular batch of wine. So yeah, I'll go ahead and make the changes in the original video. You can find the changes in the description section. Underneath the video, you'll see the changes uh, where I've made or where I've made the changes uh, because I'll usually put those in parentheses uh, with uh, uh, the uh, modified and then the date that I made the modification uh, in the ingredients. And that's pretty much the way it is with all of my videos. After I've done the tasting, um, uh, the 12-month tasting, I'll, back, I'll go back to the original video and make the changes if necessary uh, so that you can find the changes there. Uh, so there we go. Uh, the lemon meat 12 month tasting uh, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I like this. I like it uh, Yeah, I will be making this one again um, Probably another one gallon batch uh, next time just to make sure that the changes that I've made uh, have worked out uh, but Yeah, I can see making multiple gallons of this at a given point in time later on. So there we go short video lemon mead Hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, uh, if you did enjoy this video, please click on the subscribe and notify buttons. And uh, better yet, become a member. Uh, you can find links to everything that I've uh, used with the making of this wine in the uh, uh, description section below. Uh, Amazon links, by the way. And um, there we go. Lemon Mead. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>